okay let's try another certificate this was our basic certification which we already have received now we are going to try javascript intermediate uh, skill certification it's like another uh, certificate we have to face two more another question and uh, this is intermediate skill certification take test and uh, we are now again with the two different questions okay it's a parking lot problem and the image cloning from the parking lot i thought yeah it's a uh, some parking and releasing the, the parking and all okay so first of all read the problem statement clearly what it is saying implement a parking lot class uh, okay the constructor which will take a slots as an input slots is the size of the parking lot let's say you will ask for the 10 parking lot slot size and the parking lots are numbered from one to number of slots it's like an array for understanding it better you can also look at the code how it is it is trying to execute it is invoking the class passing the number of slots so it's like a number input it is passing by doing parsint and then it is doing operations like park and passing card id car id remove car id and then get slots which will give you the number of slots and uh, this existing code will generate this message that car car parking started parking full parking at a parked at particular slot slot is empty and all we don't need to write any code we just need to implement these methods park car id which is taking car id as input get slots will return the existing all the slots remove car id means we are, you are removing that car from the slots and maybe putting null there so we'll try to understand the problem and it is returning true and false so get slots returns an array with all the parking slots where ith element is the id of the car so it can be just a simple maybe an array where index value can be the car id if it is null that means car is that slot is unoccupied so for us it's a little simple problem right we can have a like let's say the parking slot is five so we can create an array of uh, five elements we will initialize the array index with null and when you ask okay park car id then we'll find the first null index and then put the car id at that index value remove that means find the car id from the index and put the null there okay it's like uh, for me uh, i think it's very simplified we just need to convert it into a code uh, let's see so here we are going to pass call constructor it is taking slots as input and uh, this dot slots we can just initialize we can we need to create an array of those many numbers and then maybe uh, how we initialize the array you can just post the element with an with the element i think there is a shorthand array dot off or array dot from we can use slots uh, so let's say initialize slots with zero here we need to create an array i guess with the number of slots slots is a numeric input it's actually the size of the parking lot if in the constructor it's 10 means there are 10 slots and how we can manage it through a simple array data structure we can create a array of that much size so there are many ways of doing it new array and pass the size of the element then also you need to initialize the array with some values so here array dot off by it returns a new array with a set of elements uh, i don't think it will work includes a new array object so what we can simply do is we can just run a for loop and then just uh, do for i equal to zero i is less than uh, slots i plus plus and then we can just do is to, we can push the slots with some value this dot slot this can be a simple an array this dot slots equal to dot push and the empty null so it's like we have initialized the slots of 10 elements means there are 10 places with null now we can start adding these methods park with car id uh, get slots and the remove method so given car id at the unoccupied slot with the lowest number and return true if the slot is occupied that means if all the array element contains uh, not null values that means all the uh, indexes are occupied and you will return false so we'll just add these uh, basic methods here uh, 
now it's interesting part it's just a javascript knowledge and i will try to do a small mistake first and then we'll try to fix it const uh, unoccupied index first of all we need to get uh, what is the 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 first unoccupied index so we need to scan the array and we need to check which where the where can we park the car from the starting position to the length of the array so i'm just doing a dot find find uh, takes a callback if it condition is true it will return the element okay if we got unoccupied index if we got an occupied index i mean if there are no occupied index that means the the parking is full then we can just return false otherwise we will just assign the car id to that uh, unoccupied index and then i think we need to return also true then we have a get slots it is just returning the elements it means like releasing that particular index with null value and uh, we need to check if the car really exist there if not then otherwise return false car index if uh, car index means the car id if car really exists then assign the slots with a null value and return true otherwise return false okay this is pretty much like all the methods we have now we'll run it and we'll test it and we'll try to find the bug in our code i mean i just try to populate a small bug which should fit okay we just need to return true false based on the condition false means if there is no car parking available true means you uh, successfully removed the parking uh, roof car from the parking and now we'll just uh, run this code and see the test cases i mean i don't see any issue with the code it will get compiled successfully and we see our output is what is our output expected output and my output is parking full parking full okay parking not even started now let's try to see the code because here parking started but my code is saying parking full that means the the parking method is not correct so unoccupied index what i'm doing is park the with the park the car with the given car id at unoccupied slot with the lowest number so we are doing unoccupied index and we are just passing this callback so let's see what find method does find method returns the element not the index right find method does is okay it would return undefined if the element doesn't find you are not able to find the element we can also see this by doing this dot slots uh and if we run it we should be able to get all the array values with null element this is our debug output so if we just scroll down we will see all the output uh debug output it's null null so that means parking slot is always empty but we are not able to push the element but we are not able to park the car and why that is happening is because we have a bug in the code but well, like in the parking we are using dot find dot find will give us the element not the index and here we need a not find index not find so we'll just change this method to find index and we need to find index of the array with the first element having null okay if find index uh, if the find index condition true then it returns the index otherwise it returns the minus 1 so our line 34 also we need to update so unoccupied index is if unoccupied index is minus 1 then uh, that means the 
parking you are not able to find that element it is returning the index value minus one so line 34 this is like the bug which i introduced myself and what how we can fix it i mean the condition uh, the callback condition is true we need to find the index of uh, an array where the first element having null right so unoccupied index if uh, we are not able to find it if we get a minus one that means you cannot park the the new car into the slots because the parking is full so this is the fix unoccupied index is greater than zero or equal equal to minus one that means you are not able to find the index it will return false and same we need to fix at uh, one more place where we are removing the car from the parking so it's like a small problem but a sm small tweak if you are not able to do a small thing right then you will end up in a trap and then you won't be able to get it right so here also we need to find a car index if car index is uh, greater than zero not equal equal to minus one or greater than zero that means we are able to find it and we set the value true null and return false now we will just run all the test cases it looks correct for now run all the test cases and this would do our task okay we are good so the, the problem here is we were doing find and that has replaced by find index. If find index, if you are not able to match the condition, then it will give uh, the index minus one. Otherwise, it will give the index of the value. This is the find index. Now, another problem statement is the image cloning. Read the question statement properly. Create an image class. Uh, image class that supports the image cloning. Multiple tools. I think it's an example of inheritance or the class-based methods. That's it implement a class size that is already provided with height and implement the size class image class with the following constructor and method so we can do it easily i think constructor takes a two argument url and size then we can set the this dot url equal to url and then we have multiple methods get url set url get size set size and uh, clone image these are the multiple methods. I think this is what it is asking. So here it is taking uh, two arguments, the constructor, URL and size. First of all, let's initialize them. This dot URL equal to URL, this dot size equal to size. And uh, we can add, we are adding all the, all the methods. So all the methods like get URL, set URL and clone image. Get URL, get the current URL, set the URL, this dot URL equal to the URL which you are passing in the method. And clone image, clone image is like returns a clone of the current image, returns a new image instance with the same properties. So how we can return an instance new, new, new class name, return new class name, new uh, image and we can just pass the current URL and uh, current image. So this dot URL comma this dot image This dot uh, size yes, and then we have two more methods I guess this dot size get size and set size Get size will just give us uh, return us. We just need to return the size this dot size and set size is uh, okay let's see size class is already there with the constructor width and height and what else is pending this size is a object reference we are assigning here so we don't need to change anything inside a constructor because the second argument is actually an instance of the size class which we are passing in the image okay we are done with the get url set url set size which is taking two argument width and height so we will assign these two methods set size and get size Set size means you are passing two argument width and height. So what it will do is it will assign a new object to the size. So this is the important here. Most of people will do the mistake. So here what we can do is we are assigning the size with the new values, right? So new instance of size class. 
so it should be this dot size equal to new size and pass the width and height and here we can say this dot size equal to new instance of size class and we pass uh, width and height uh, it's a width is the first argument comma height so this is how we can set the height and uh, set the size and then, then there is a method get size returns the size of an object i mean it's just returning an object this dot size it won't take any argument as an input get size method now we can just run the code and run all the test cases i mean this get size method should not take any argument that we can remove but the test case is passing we should remove that argument and we'll just submit this so this is just a plain and simple example of how we write classes in the ES6. These are like very, really very basic problems. There is nothing much. These are equivalent to the, the beginner level certification questions. So we got, uh, we are done with all the four problems, two basic certification and two intermediate uh, skill certification test. And I don't feel like these are really good questions. I mean, you may face a more complex challenge than this to because interviewer will be asking a questions to understand your basic and in-depth knowledge about JavaScript, not these beginner level or intermediate level questions.